So I've done a full body cleanses on both of them. Space is sterile. <sighs> Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm-hmm. <sighs> nice work, Dr. Wakefield. <laughs> so another drone? Yeah. They dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi, I'm Amy, your... Tando. Pleasure to meet you, Tando. Are you going to hurt me? Listen, let me do my work and you'll live. Understand? Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now. It's okay. Tell him. It's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Hey. 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 You're all right. You're all right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us are stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this chemical ruin my life? Tata. It's very serious. We're in the best possible hands, I promise. Honesty. It's very nice to hear it for once. Thank you. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. What are you going to do? Make a decision. <laughs> Dima, give me your arm. <sighs> Dima, please, you have to trust me. This will save you and your baby. stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. 
The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with a dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. Seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. Now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that now nanocells could be miracle tech. <laughs> <laughs> some serious concerns about this. Likewise, before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. 
She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Oh. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. And we were waiting on your word before moving her. A single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Drone. Don't fuck it up. So. What else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. Bodies of our renegades. Well, the prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr. Wakefield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Wakefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job? No, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we considered the hysteria might actually be valid. What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise... I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. I don't know if you could come back and let me know your decisions. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Can we go, please? Still hides behind bravado when the stakes are high. I fear they're higher than we know. From your assistance down in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab, Alpha.
Nat, is this my tech? Yes. But how? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was a master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Woo! Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits? You'll see. All right. Does this feel personal? Claire? Of course. Well, she was in excruciating pain and she stumbled all the way to the tube station. Feels more emotional than just following orders. Going into space. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical. Barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? Hope not. conditions inactive. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? <laughs> so what's your story then, Malkin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Holy shit, it's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. Guys, this is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just 
coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. No, 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 no. leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? It'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Mina. What's Mina? Terrorist organization. Oh, you stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanosols aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. OK. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just... I'll get back to you. End call. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Need to replace this, OK? Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. It's a little rusty. You know what I mean? And don't. Don't go anywhere. Who delivered this crate? Oh, it was here when we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way. It needs to be moved. Hey, Dr. North, I'm sorry to ask, but can you move this crate? Yeah, not a problem. Save you, okay? <laughs> uh, 
I knew there was something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? Duck! Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. Okay, first things first, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Don't mistake it. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of her expensive whiskey. Ah! Alright, oh, this is gonna stink. What does the sign say on an out of business brothel? Eh? Ah! Ah! Oh! Beat it, we're close. Mm. See if there's something in the intensive lab. No, Amy, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. Thought you'd gone quiet over here. Your nano cells don't like my chat either. Well, I did mold them in my image. Mm, that makes sense. Bunch of mini controlling bitches inside me. Look, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you. I've dealt with worse odds before. Really? Really. You need to comply though. Whatever it is that's going on, if you know anything, please tell me. Maybe. I can work with maybe. Hold strong. What the hell? 
hell is that? It must be coming from beyond the walls. Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. <sighs> right, got it. These are the security cameras in the void. Shit on the IRA. The cavalry? In masks? What's the rumbling though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless our security walls, eh? This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. They're her dumb cavalry. But they're Kandarian too. I knew you were part of something bigger. Lump us all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, how do you know that? Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around here? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They've deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get on to this intruder situation. Oh, well, not that I'm not grateful, but why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke, Claire? No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Bleak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know. We'd have to ask him ourselves. What now, Claire? Can you move the dead people? Now that she mentions it. Okay, how about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding... Hacking? I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find Natalie a bit... Me. Yeah. Let's access her camera. Give her a little listen. This is how scientists get killed, you know. Where did you learn to do this? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. You ready? Wait, you shouldn't... Look, if she's got nothing to hide, what's this issue? We're in this together. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Go ahead. The three intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving up. access down there.
Whatever they've done is caused electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. Have the security idiots announced an upgrade gone awry? No one can think this clear situation's any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please. Two people are trapped in that lab with our prized asset. They are our priority. Announce the security upgrade. I clear the eyeways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. Claire. Amy. What do you and your friends want? I'm not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? Is it not totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Kensington. So she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously. How long have you been at the complex? A year. We've always had passing conversations on higher floors, but I don't think you remember. I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. Oh, I got them all. Mina. Who's Mina? Claire. She's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah, tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing our security system so easily? Kensington Corporation's dark plummets amid TV links off. to- off. Rescue plans are being made. Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as he pays court. Excuse me. Emily, wait. Please. Give us something. Help us. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, an another country in the space race, or...? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells, or destroy them. I'm gonna move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. Whatever they're doing up there, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do in the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplani myself. Okay, awesome, you do that. I'm gonna look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? I think the air is getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover.
I've always wished I was taller. Quite cute, matching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. Fucking sneaky bastard. I got access to the lab? Is that your master batch? How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Wait, what were you, you injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? I destroyed all the duplicate nanocells too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employers to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, I was heading to MI6. To Oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? Why were you taking them there, Claire? It's a go! Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. These guys? They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, 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 guys, 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 there's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? I need 10 more minutes to study these blueprints. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking. Amy. End call. Yeah. Reese. What? Do you want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? We've got ten minutes to think without all that shit. Look, I didn't want to hand this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. We need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Amy. Always. It's 
scared. <laughs> Go on. What? Two files. Kensington and Picnic. Which one do you want to watch? If this gets over, we'll be answering to the UN. Kensington, Ma. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages, and you got human trials to assess your technology. To burn one stone. Three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The supreme leader is a man of discretion. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it. Or we will. Um, I think my mind's... Thinking the same thing as yours, so do you really want to watch the other video? Go ahead. Please. You sure? <laughs> look, look. Okay. You've forgotten the wine but remembered your phone. Typical. <sighs> Mina's mad at me these days. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I forgot the wine, okay? Yeah. Bro, onion bhajis, egg mayo, <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> Claire takes too many selfies in London. <laughs> Not that much. No, look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look, look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. Smile. <laughs> You see, the Kandarian government and Natalie Kensington experimented with your nano cells on my people, my village, my parents, my sister Mina. They're all killed for opposing the dictatorship. Natalie was making duplicates of the master badge behind my back. My tech killed people. And you were taking all the evidence for my six. In that USB and in your veins. Now the Supreme Leader has activated a sleeper cell in the complex to cover his tracks. Yeah, not to mention Natalie's. Why didn't you tell us this before? I didn't trust you. Reject call. Amy, we need to take a minute and think about this, okay? I'm fine, I promise. Hey, look. I know a rash decision when I see one. Are you not going to expose Natalie? After what you've just seen? We need to deal with our current predicament. Plus, I... I really need the toilet again. Would you believe this isn't the weirdest place I've taken a ship? Do you need me to stay and help you? Ye no, no, you're fine, you're spared. I'll be sitting outside. Okay, okay. Hey, if we get out of here, will you quit like you said? Pass. I never thought I'd have to answer that question. Oh, you do the right thing, you always do. A habit I wish I had. Well, I might have rubbed off on you if you'd stuck around. Why'd you leave, Reese? 
the absurdity, not knowing whether saving someone was the right thing to do, if it condemned them to a life of pain. It's too much for me. A coward isn't the man for you anyway. That wasn't your call to make. We were a team. Hindsight's a bitch, eh? Heard of Mr. Cracking Fortnite in Eritrea. Where can I sign up for this war torn world tour you guys were on? Enough with the wisecracks, Claire. I'm not in the mood. I know how you feel, Amy. You lost people that you love. My feelings are trivial compared to yours. The sense of betrayal, I mean. Come on, give us a break. I meant Natalie. It was a dream come true, getting an internship here. A village girl from Kindar, coming to London to work, to live, to love. Funny story. <laughs> On my first day here, I was super late because I thought there was a station in the complex. Turns out I was looking at the tourist tube map, the disused and unfinished stations. Yeah, that's right, the um, half-built station under the complex. Tabitha Greens. We're so far underground, we must be right on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right, Claire. Thank you. Anytime. What did I say? We can't go across the void. We tried going up into the vent, but we haven't tried going down. To Tabitha Greens. You need an access point. We might have one. Reese is sitting on it. What do you have to know? I need something that will remove the entire toilet quickly. I need to break that toilet. Okay. the lowest point in the complex, so Tabitha Green's is right below us. You are positively insane. So now the big question, how far below us is Tabitha Green's? Looks deep. I'll go check it out. Okay. Hey, Reese, can you help me with something? Oh, okay. Easy does it. I should have used his ponytail, he'd be at the bottom by now. Oh, whoa! I say it's fine. They're gonna 
to shoot their way in. Their bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. The Void's last resort defense mechanism is the kicker. When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. <coughs> She's hardwired in already. We are fucking fucked. And so Paul. Guys, they're nearly inside, and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough! While Parker was accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses, we saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. Yours, Amy. What? That's impossible. My ID card is right here. Amy didn't help me. I snuck into her office and I copied her credentials off of a computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. Look, we know about Kindar. Reese. We have proof. Lots. Nonsense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kindar's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cyber security sucks. Even Reese hacked in easily. Reese has been hacking the system. He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Whose side are you on, Wakefield? Emily, I thought you said that you did your due diligence. Slack on your part. Seriously? Her access to Kensington Corporation is only second to yours, Natalie. That's ridiculous. I'd never. Even Parker showed up unannounced. Don't drag me into this. Oh, come on. Everyone knows you work for anyone who pays your quote. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. We aren't the traitors. Help us. Stall them. Do anything. Amelia, regardless of what we think of each other right now, you're one of my closest friends. Parker. So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the Void jam electronics? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? Two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They've locked us out. Reese could. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. OK, tell me through it as fast as you can. Help, Amy! Help! Help! What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. My heart. Are you going to wear a mask? No. I trust you. They're still unlocking the door. One down, two to go. Come on. Fuck it, you bastards.
Call Natalie Kensington. You're okay. Answer call. Oh, thank God. We saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. It was a close one, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? I could go for Natty's internet, unplug the lab, plug it back in. That would kill lockdown mode and the vacuum for 60 seconds. You guys can then escape before everything initializes. Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. No, that's a shit plan. He's standing right outside the door. Fucking security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. Okay, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're... Can you get Claire's blood? What the fuck, Natalie? Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's gonna die anyway. She'd be sacrificing herself to save millions. Think, Amy. We can't start over again. This has been our lives for the past four years. We're not the only country trying for nanocells. I'm not a murderer. You're a monster, Kensington. Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? End call. We're trapped in a corner here, Emmy. There has to be another way that doesn't involve Red. Me and Claire. There isn't. We're trapped. Yeah, by Natalie. The lab's in lockdown mode because she ordered it. There's no other chemical threat outside of Claire's bioprotector. Yeah, there is. Actually. How? I should have brushed over my needle handling. Look, this is a Mexican standoff we're going to lose. It won't be long until I'm like Claire, and eventually the oxygen will run out. So Parker's crazy plan of opening that door is our only hope. You've changed your tune. Maybe Natalie will rescue us. Yeah, you want to bet? All the evidence of her actions in Kindar is down here. The nanocells are our only leverage. Take her blood, however much you need. Claire. Please give me your arm. I thought you were different. Claire. Your arm. Tell me honestly, can you save me? There's almost no chance of it. Your internal physiology is completely changed and I can't predict what's gonna happen. You're weak. Look, I don't even know if I'm gonna survive this, but if I do, I promise you that Stop. I've got enough. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't stick it in. <laughs> That's what she said. Reese. <laughs> Just close the bioprotector. Claire can live to fight another day. It's about the time I contributed an escape plan. What? While Parker was talking me through the vacuum reset, I realised that a full lab reset wouldn't be much different. We don't need those pricks upstairs. But if you reset the lab, they'll be alerted. That's where things get creative. I hacked into the lab security camera and recorded the last three minutes of you preparing to extract Claire's blood. I can output that three minutes of footage onto their security feed. While you escape, 
They'll think you're following orders. How did you come up with this? Sorry to move in. <laughs> okay, but what about our last remaining obstacle outside? And why are you speaking in the second person? I'm going to take him out. I'm infected. As soon as I step into the void, that heat flash will trigger. Maurice, you've lost it. If I die in here, lockdown mode ends and he gets in. If I die out there, so does he and you, you have a chance. I've been the weak link. It's time to become an asset. Just take Claire, run and save her. This is madness. There has to be a way for all of us to survive. Ever the optimist. That that's what you always loved about her. Mm -hmm. Please. Come on, let's No, 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 look, I chose this, okay? And that's how you make a life. Every single choice along the way counts. I fucking hate you. You know, I went back to that beach in Kindar. Face it. That woman was there. Dima. She's playing with a little girl. She called her Amy. <laughs> I'm sorry for leaving you. Places with me, Reese. At this stage, you have a far better chance of surviving than I do. Come on. You have all the evidence against Kensington. Make sure the world sees it. No, Claire, I'll do it. Drop it. The bioprotector will stop the lab detecting your infection, and you two can escape. Promise we'll expose Natalie and we'll share your story with the world. Thank you. I can't leave the fuck out of this thing. Did you do that, Parker? No. I'm sitting here. Hey, Claire. Thank you. Detected. Heat flash. 
crash initiated. Security Lab Alpha system reset complete. Nailed it, Claire. All looks good to me. Yeah. She's going to get the nano cells. Well done, Amy. I wouldn't have. What was that? Nothing. Three minutes. Amy, fuck that! Get a machine gun! All right, careful. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh. We have to change out of our lab suits. They'll draw too much attention. How bad is it? Can you see the bone? I'm going to go to the disabled toilet and grab the fold-up wheelchair, OK? Change quick. Yes, ma'am. Laughing about the security team. Okay, there's an exit out of the back of the building. It'll be way less guarded. All right, so what are we waiting for? Natalie's office is down there. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but. Finish what Claire started. Oh, my six, here we come. Stop right there, Amy Tennant. Oh. I guess three minutes wasn't long enough. We know Wakefield has nanocells in his system. Hand them over and this can end without bloodshed. Well, that's clearly bullshit. Just do it, Amy. What if I shoot him right now? Then the nanocells are gone forever. Steady. We need Reese alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reese wants to um, stay alive too. Amy? This is a mistake, Amy. You're bluffing, right? Oh, come on, Amy. You're not really going to do this over a few Kandarians. garnered a Nobel Peace Prize for the advancement of medical technology. Our breakthrough nanocell treatment was crucial to Gordon Grosvenor's Mars landing and has revolutionised the treatment of war zone injuries. Today, our medical tech becomes available to you and your family in all British hospitals. Global medical care begins here.